In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use artflow.ai to create a headshot or a professional photo of you to use for your social media, to use for your Etsy shop, where you can put a picture of yourself, or to use you know, for your YouTube thumbnails, things like that. So let's get started. So I signed in with my Google account, I accepted the terms of use, and now I'm going to create my AI actor. So I click that plus sign there. I am a female and I am an adult. My name is Sasha and I'm adding photos to here. So I have photos that I have collected in a folder called Sasha AI Avatar. So I'm just gonna highlight all of them, use these, and make sure I don't have duplicates. And I think I'm good to go. So the more photos you use, the better. So you can start training it. So hopefully I didn't use bad photos. It's hard because I have kids. So like all my photos have um, pictures of me, <laughs> have me with it. Uh, so just know that I'm using the free version of this tool, so it could take a long time and you can speed up the training by paying to use it, but I'm using the free version. So I will, um, uh, I will come back and I will show you what I get after that is done. All right, so many, many hours have passed and artflow.ai has sent me over the images that it generated for me, which were these two by default. They did these like wizard ones. <laughs> I'm not sure I didn't ask it to do that. But then it did these office kind of like outdoor business casual images that actually look exactly like me, which is very creepy. I've never, just for reference i've never been able to um, generate any images from mid-journey uh, that looked exactly like me like this so for me this is the best ai generator and again i'm using the free version so then it gave me a hundred credits but i was only able to use nine of them before it put a paywall on the ability to do more generations so what i was able to get were these two by default then i got these which look, this one looks exactly like me. I mean, this is the closest one. And then I, I was using the, um, like the studio, where is it? Image studio. And then maybe actor builder. Oh no, no, no it wasn't actor builder. I was in the actor builder and they locked it. Um, but within the image studio, I was able to, so create a new image. And then I was able to, to go from create a new image inside of my, my image studio to these different prompts. And they give you all these different um, ones that you can choose. And they do have ones with the crown, which means that it's a pro prompt. So they have a bunch of free ones. Uh, and I, you know, you could do like passport photo if you're just trying to get a photo of you. But I did this puzzled one and I'm not a big fan of the puzzled ones. I don't really look puzzled. This one, I kind of look like Laura Croft. I kind of like that hairdo. <laughs> but I don't like the random questions. I would probably put that into, you know, um, Photoshop and get rid of those. But um, then I did this one. I, this is another prompt, like me freaking out of a paper. But I look kind of sleepy in some. And a lot, it doesn't look like me. It looks like a way young version of me but then i did barbie <laughs> i did barbie and i this was the original picture of barbie and you can see here there's like smudged eyeliner so i was able to with their editing tool change the prompt and um see i took it here it was edit a region and then i swirled over this and then I typed in get rid of the smudged eyeliner and it actually did and it did that. But then I did editing. So I grabbed these, I got these and I liked this one enough, but the pictures that I fed it were branding pictures that I had um, got done a couple years ago. And the woman who did my makeup, she did like wedding Kardashian style makeup so that my, my, um, you know, the makeup would show when the camera flash went off and stuff. 
and she did really heavy eyebrows. I do have dark eyebrows just naturally, but she really went in there. And so I was like, okay, I feel like these eyebrows are just a little too heavy. So I tried to edit that section. And as you can see, it made it to where I just put um, make eyebrows look more natural. And it, it made it look like this. It looks so bad. If you can see that, I can't really make it any bigger. But the skin tone on the area I colored like this. It, it just looks so different. Like make eyes pop more natural eyebrows. It's like that. It's kind of like prompting um, mid journey. So I can modify that and you'll see it'll give me a variation of that. But since I'm editing and edit, it probably is going to look really bad. <laughs> so just know that Sometimes the editing feature works well and sometimes it's kind of meh like it did for the Barb Sasha Barbie but um but for that for this it just it's really it went really off base it didn't even look like the original picture but I'd actually crafted the prompt for these here from these darker um black background images I I did I actually tinkered with the default prompt that I had it generate from that database of prompts but even here you can see this is taking a long time because I'm on the free version um, the paid version is only if you pay for a month I would pay for a month at a time it's only $12 a month and I feel like if I wanted to get a ton of images for social media for other places then it would be totally worth it just to pay I'm probably gonna pay for it for a month here next week when I'm working on YouTube content because I like the idea of being able to create um, images of myself for like YouTube videos and stuff like that. And I actually updated my LinkedIn because I've had a lot of people um, in my space um, start to add me on LinkedIn. And so I updated my LinkedIn photo with that one that I generated. I think it looks really good. And then I, I created a new banner in... Um, over in Canva and I just updated it because I hadn't updated it in like five years. I stopped working as an accountant um, five years ago and I've just been doing this ever since. So I updated my LinkedIn a little bit, but I added that picture there and I think it looks really nice. So here, so oh my God, look at these edits. These are so crazy. So this is an edit of an edit and it do I look like, a, like an alien. This is terrible. It doesn't even make sense. So I'm not a huge fan of the editing on this, but... I do love the generations that it does. I mean, some of these, this is like the teeth look not perfect. But then there's some like this. This is totally good. Would be great for social media. Would be good for anything. This one kind of looks like me. It looks way too young. I don't look like that anymore. And then there's ones like here. I hate the hand. I wish the hand didn't exist, but I'd have to re- prompt the tool to get it to work so like this one is good but I look like too sleepy like sensual almost <laughs> but there's some like these like these are great I love this I would use this for YouTube videos for like LinkedIn stuff like that for social media no one would know I already updated my Facebook to be this and people love it all my friends were like oh my god that's amazing um but uh yeah, that looks exactly like me. And my daughter actually said, is that a doll I can buy? I want to buy it. So I know that it's really good if she liked that. But I really love the output I've gotten from Artflow. I just want to keep tinkering with it and generating pictures for social media and so many things. I feel like this is a great way to get a really nice looking set of variations of headshots without having to pay. I paid $1,200 for my branding photos. And I that only paid for like, six of them and she took hundreds so this is a really great way to create branded looking photos but for a fraction of the price and it does it does make you look cute so <laughs> I'm a fan of that the most annoying part I'm going to close this out by saying my most annoying part is that it's not about the generation but this picture looks like me like the most like my husband was like that looks like that could have been a picture of you and the only unfortunate part is it's me as a sorceress and so that doesn't work with my brand but i'm gonna maybe i would take the um i would go to the image studio and then i would go to create new image and then i would 
I would go to the make a variant or I'd go to generate rather. I'd go to generate and I would find that wizard um, prompt. And if I select it, it'll, it probably won't let me. But here, I'll just do ancient spell. And I would probably change it up. You can edit it. So it'd be like, instead of epic portrait, I would just put portrait of, of Sasha in a business, wait, in a, in a business casual setting. She is slightly smiling, white background, and I'd probably do that. And I would do generate. And I've exceeded my free trial, but you can customize the prompts, just know that. So that's what I would do, and I would pay to be able to, to generate more. All right, so I hope that helps you see how to use this awesome and amazing tool.